What's up, people? Today on Lynx Lynx Figure Reviews, today I'm gonna go over two figures, not Funkos, that I found at this local store called the Local a Little Professor Bookstore. And I gotta say, I was really surprised. I was going in there looking for some books, and then all of a sudden I saw these two there. I was like, both of them on sale. The boxes are a little damaged, but that's okay. I mean, these figures were a steal. These statues were a steal. They were only five bucks each. I mean, this one was cut down before because it was 12 bucks on there and $13 on here, but they marked them down both to $5. So that was a steal. So first up, we're gonna go on to Steampunk Lexi. This thing is cool. Now, mind the box. It was there for a while, the guy told me, and no one bought him. I got him. I thought that was cool. Made my Diamond Select toys. I have a couple other ones from them. Part of their Feminine Fentail series. This looks cool. See, this was, uh, this was $12 before it got cut down to five. This thing is cool. I checked out Diamond Select Toys. They make a lot of cool things. Or they have a lot of cool things on there. So you should check that out. Let's give us some backstory on this. In another world parallel to ours, steam runs all. The realm of scientific innovation has proceeded down a different path. One still bound by the simple fuel sources of coal, wood, and water. And yet the Zoltan technology has in some ways surpassed even our own. In this world, airships still dot the sky even as strange belch black smoke into its weapons and powered by chemicals and clockworks are worn as protection as the ga lit, gas lit streets. No stranger to co the cobblestones. Lexi always keeps her sidearm at the ready and her goggles on every doorway. Least she be wayland by the steampunks of old Concordia. This was... The art was uh, created by Asylum and sculpted by Sam Green Greenwell. This nine inch statue is constructed of high grade vinyl and features high level detail and exciting or um, exciting paint process. Steampunk Lexi. Let's open up this box and check her out. Ages 14 and up, they actually put an age thing on here. All right. Cool. This thing is nice. Let's get her out of here. This thing is cool. Let's bring her closer. The detail on this figure is sweet. Very nicely detailed. Got a big gun right there, her goggles. Bag. Oh, she's got a back gun so that she can distract people with her big gun. This girl is smart. All right. The detail on her boots are nice. This thing is very nice, especially for the price I paid for it. I'd recommend trying to buy it or find it. Find it and buy it. Or go to Diamond Select Toys. I've been on there, they have a lot of nice things. Diamond Select Toys sponsor me. Just kidding. This thing is cool. Very nice. No paint bleed. Very nice, subtle differences of color on the hair to give it depth or even more depth. The gun looks cool. Belt buckle straps. Back gun looks cool. All right. I'm gonna put her there, and I'm gonna show you the next one. This is the Star Trek Seven of Nine figure, part of the Feminine Fatale series. Now, I know it's nerdy. I like the Star Trek series. I like the first series. I don't like the uh, Next Generation that much. Deep Space Nine, I haven't decided. I've seen every episode of it. Voyager, I love Voyager. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I liked Voyager. And then Enterprise, the newest one, I like that one a lot. 
I don't like the very new one, Star Trek Discovery. Not a big fan of it. Diamond Select Toys. The artwork on here, Star Trek Voyager. This Jane, this daughter of the married exobiologist investigating the board. Annika Hansen accompanied her parents aboard the, the research vessel USS Raven at an early age, following a board cube into the Delta Quadrant via a transwarp conduit. The Hansen studied the Borg at close range until an ion storm damaged the Raven's multi-adaptive shielding and they were captured. Annika was assimilated into the collected at the age of six and spent the next 18 years as a Borg drone designated 7 of 9. In 2373, she was assigned to the USS Voyager in a Borg Federation alliance against Speech Seas 8472. But when the Borg broke the alliance, 7 of 9 was cut off from the collective by the Voyager crew. Most of her cybernetic implants were removed and 7 became a valuable member of the crew, contributing much to her efforts to their efforts to return home to the Alpha Quadrant. I love the backstories that they place on these. Can't tell you enough. All right, let's open her up. Oh, this comes with a backing. Very nice. Wonder how it's put in there. Put that there. Oh, there's a base as well. Cool. Oh, I'm guessing the, the back design slides right into this. I'm gonna put this here. Set this up. Let's get this in here. Cool. That's our Borg regeneration alcove. That's very nice. Although I don't know how it's gonna look with her on it. I might just take it off. It can go on on either foot, that's nice. I think I'm gonna put it on this one. Very cool. The base is very nice. Outfit is very good. The detail on the head is not as good as the steampunk Lexi, but it's always harder to model after a human head than make your own because you can make your own look any way you want. I will say the implants on her look very accurate. Exposed seams. I could probably touch that up. No big deal. Slight con, but if you know how, you can fix it. Another seam there, I could fix that one. Borg Regeneration Alcove. All in all, a, vice, a nice figure for the price that I paid. Sure, it does have some problems, but it's easy, uh, easily fixable. I would still recommend buying it, but you don't have to. But if you're a big fan of the Star Trek, or my personal favorite, the Star Trek Voyager series, definitely, if you can get your hands on it, buy it. This thing looks cool. Very nice. Closer view. Move plastic. Very cool. It's for shading. Now, leave your thoughts down below. Have you ever shopped at Diamond Select Toys before? Have you ever gotten any of their figures before? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, share it, please. I'd like to expand the channel. And always like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I probably already repeated that, sorry. And as always, peace out and have a nice day.